So what are the top five tours you should take while visiting Cancun for the first time? Stay tuned! Welcome back to So You Want to Travel, where I give you tips and tricks that I've learned along the way of being a travel agent for almost 22 years. So you have your trip booked and you're ready to go to Cancun. Aside from the nightlife that everybody always talks about, what other excursions do you think you should go on? Here are the top five that I suggest for newbies going to Cancun. Number one is swimming with the whale shark. This is definitely something that's a once in a lifetime opportunity. The whale sharks are actually the best place to see them or swim with them is in Mexico. So if you're gonna be in Cancun, normally they say between the month of May and October, then you probably can see the whale sharks. However, it is nature. So I would actually suggest doing it the month of June through August because then you have definitely a better chance of seeing them. One thing I do ask you is to be a responsible human and when you're looking for a company that you want to use, please look for one that has a number of regulations. That means that the, that particular company does care about the whale sharks themselves and to keep the whale sharks safe so that they don't get stressed out that company will make sure that both the humans are safe and the whale sharks are safe. So the boat ride itself to the swim site, it takes about two hours to get there. Once you're there, definitely wear a life vest. I personally don't like to wear a life vest too often, especially when I'm snorkeling. In this situation, it's a little bit different because even though they swim slower than a fish, they swim faster than a human. So if you want to be able to keep up with them and stay buoyant, definitely wear a life vest. Uh, to start, this price is usually, it starts at about $175 per person. It is on the higher end, but it's completely worth it. This is a must see, again, if you're going to be in Cancun from June to August. Chichen Itza is definitely one that you want to visit as well for a first time. Uh, do expect to be gone all day though because it does take three hours to get there. And when you're there, you're going to want to make sure you have plenty of water. Any season that you go in is fine. Uh, there's really, It's not really a seasonal visit. If you happen to go to Cancun during hurricane season, you might get a little bit of rain there, but you'll, you'll be fine. It's not too bad. Um, there usually is going to be a cenote visit included in the Chichen Itza visit. What I would suggest is still doing a cenote visit separately and I'll go into that a little bit further. But you're going to spend about two hours at Chichen Itza. It's a big site. It's a big uh, ruin site. So two hours might not be long enough if you can get a little bit longer then I would definitely, because you can pay to have a private visit or to have a little bit longer visit there. I would suggest doing that because to me two hours is not long enough for that particular ruin site. The cost for Chichen Itza starts at $69 per person. That includes transportation from Cancun to Chichen Itza, lunch, it's also going to include the cenote visit. Um, so. It's not too bad considering everything it includes, but I strongly suggest that you pay to spend a little bit more time at the site itself. The Tulum Ruins are another must-see, and the great thing about the Tulum Ruins is they're only 90 minutes from Cancun. It is a smaller ruin visit as well because I'd say it takes about 45 minutes to see everything at that particular site. One great aspect of the Tulum Ruins, however, is the beach. I think by now you guys know I love going to the beach. Last time I was there, there was a lot of seaweed at the beach, so we really weren't able to swim at the beach. But for the most part, it's a great place to swim. And so since there's not a place to change, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a swimsuit underneath your clothes and just be prepared to have a dip in that 
uh, area as well while you're visiting the Tulum ruins. The best time to visit the Tulum ruins, in my opinion, is November, December because the crowds are lower at that time. And again, because it's not a big uh, ruin site, then a lot of people, it can get very crowded. Not only that, it's only $4, uh, four US dollars for the ruins there. And then if you want it to have your own guide, which, and guides, to me, it depends on where you are. Sometimes I've been a place where I really needed a guide. Like, I don't know too much history about Tulum because I've never had a guide. But say, last time I was in Ephesus, I had a guide and I know way too much about Ephesus. So it just depends on, if you are a history buff and you want the knowledge, then definitely get a guide. Tulum is also a location where you're gonna wanna have extra water because it does get pretty warm there, but the view is amazing. It's beautiful. It's right there off of the cliff, and I can see why the Mayans <laughs> built Tulum where they did because, wow, I would love to build a house there. It's just gorgeous. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found the information beneficial. And don't forget to subscribe because I definitely will continue to give you tips and tricks that will continue to help you along your way with all of your travels as well. And also don't forget about the travel guide that I have available. That link is down below also. Urgh, it's cold. Another must see are the cenotes. Cenotes are all around the area, um, so there's plenty of ones that you can go to. There's actually plenty of companies that will take you there. If a company's gonna take you to see a cenote, they'll also take you to see other things, like there's gonna be zip lining, which is terrifying, but so much fun. Um, then there's sometimes there's gonna be the ATV. Uh, sometimes they'll take you to a park where you can do swimming in a bigger cenote area. So there's just different activities that come along with visiting the cenote. One thing I would suggest is the one that you could repel into though, because that is so much fun. Like the adventure of it alone. It's scary because you don't want to fall. But it's fun because of it's like your Indiana Jones. And then just keep in mind with regards to repelling, as soon as you hit that water, you can't get back out. The water is cold. It's fresh water and you definitely feel a difference between that hot Mexico air and that cold, cold water in the Sante. But it's so much fun. You'll definitely have a great time doing that for your first time to Cancun. And the price generally starts at $100, it can be a lot more, but of course that's still going to include your transportation, normally that includes lunch, and then all the other activities that are included as well. Lastly, you have Isla Mujeres, which is a great visit from Cancun because it's a lot more calm, you actually really can just relax once you get there. The beach is amazing. It's calm water at the beach. Last time I was there, I was able to relax a lot more. And you can also rent a golf cart while you're there to kind of get around the island. So it just kind of gets away from the hustle and bustle of Cancun itself. The ferry to Isla Mujeres is, goes every hour and it's only a 15 minute ferry ride as well. So not too far away from Cancun, but just a different type of atmosphere from Cancun. The first honorable mention is gonna be Cozumel. My mom has got to go to Cozumel every time we go to Cancun because she absolutely loves to snorkel. The best snorkeling in the area is gonna be in Cozumel because they have a great reef there. In fact, if you're a diver, you're gonna to wanna to go to Cozumel as well because that is diving mecca there. But with regards to going to Cozumel, if you're, if you're a first timer, definitely do it by tour because the tour will take care of all your transportation. If you're more adventurous, you can do it on your own as well. Uh, you basically just need to get transportation from Cancun to Playa del Carmen, do the ferry from Playa del Carmen to Cozumel, take a taxi from the port to Chacana Park, 
the park is about $21 right now it's $21 to get in your entrance fee so you can do it on your own first timers I would suggest doing it as a tour it's definitely a must-see if you're staying more than four nights because from beginning to end it's about 14 hours that it's going to eat out of your day another honorable mention is Playa del Carmen Playa del Carmen has become a place that people love to go shop it's completely changed from when I was there I wish I had footage from the first time I went to Playa del Carmen and what it looks now it looks completely different um, so where you're used to having the night life in Cancun now you actually have it in Playa del Carmen as well but shopping 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 is also in Playa del Carmen one last honorable mention personally have not been here yet and this is the underwater museum so one thing that is becoming very popular is where they're putting statues into the sea and that's to build up the reef which I think is amazing I love the idea and just the artwork itself is just beautiful they add different statues at different times and you can see over time how the reef has started to build it's only six minutes away from the hotel zone so it's very close to where your uh, accommodations will be and it starts from $58 per person so these are my personal top five that I would suggest for someone to visit for the first time to Cancun or if you've been to Cancun and you haven't done any of these you definitely want to try them out in the meantime Chichen Itza Chichen, Chichen Itza Chichen Itza Chichen, Chichen Itza, Chichen, Chichen Itza. Why can't I say that now all of a sudden? It's Nell's fault.